Hey guys, I want to give one example that Jesus used to help us understand the simplicity of the gospel and what it means to believe unto salvation. Um, you know, Jesus said that, you know, as the bronze serpent was lifted up, that he would be lifted up. And that was a foreshadow in the Old Testament of Jesus. And they're all throughout the Old Testament, guys, of God's ultimate salvation plan through Jesus Christ, his son. And what, if you read that story, go back and read about it, about what happened to the Israelites in the wilderness. They were grumbling and complaining, you know, and God sent venomous snakes into their camp and they were being bitten and they were dying. And, you know, God said, hey, you know how we can take care of this? Make a bronze serpent, erect it up on a pole, tell the people that if they look at it, then they won't die. Once they've been bitten by the snake, they're not going to die. The snake, guys, represents a curse. It's a curse. And Jesus said he became a, a curse on the cross for us. Um, he took the curse of sin and death that belonged on us and took care of it. And he nailed it to that cross. He paid that penalty. He broke that curse. And... Um, so anyway, what they did simply was not, am I worthy? Um, do I look at the, the snake on the pole and then I do this A, B, C, X, Y, Z, and then I won't die? No, they just looked to it. So what happens, a few things happen when they looked to that serpent on the pole so that they wouldn't die from that curse, from that venomous serpent. They... Real, to look to it first they have to realize that they need to be saved from death they realize they're going to die they're under that curse and they need they need to be saved to have that curse taken away and then they look believing that that's going to take it away that's it so for for Jesus you know to believe on Jesus is to realize that you're a sinner you believe that, you know, you're going to die. You know, you're, you're not going to, you're going to die that second death. You're not going to have eternal life with God. If you don't believe, if you don't accept the free gift that he provided for us just by looking to him, it's a very simple. And be very careful of people that say, are you a counterfeit Christian? Look to what you're doing to know. We are saved by believing, being convinced of the truth of the record that God gave of his son, of Jesus Christ of the Bible, the gospel. That's how we're saved. There's no other way. His blood is the only sacrifice acceptable to God. By thinking you can one-up the blood sacrifice of Jesus or add to it or improve upon it, in any way or that that was not acceptable to God to cover all of your sins and to purchase you to redeem you is beyond evil it's it's incredibly evil it's antichrist is what it is um, so yeah you we look to Jesus to know we're saved we believe you know and really that's it and uh, anyway, I love you guys. Be blessed.